by bringing common sense back to our money, we will bring home lower prices for our people. That also includes getting rid of the carbon tax, the inflationary carbon tax. This government has brought in a 14 cent a litre carbon tax, which has increased the cost of living for everyday Canadians without benefiting the environment. Today, the Prime Minister went so far as to claim that the carbon tax would mean fewer forest fires, something that is utterly contrary to the basic science and basic reality. His carbon tax has not been able to reduce emissions, far be it able to, to, to eliminate forest fires, Madam Speaker. The way that we combat climate change is with technology and not taxes. It is by, yes. It is by lowering. Yes, it is real. But your policies to respond to it are not real. The, 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 the policies to respond to it by this government are designed to raise money for the, the politicians to spend, not to protect the planet. Our, our approach will be to deploy technology, not taxes. Technology and not taxes. The member asked for an example of a technology that could defeat climate change. Well, there's one that the government killed, and that is the tidal power that the, the, the uh, private sector was trying to build in Nova Scotia. Right. A tidal power system that would allow the forces of the ocean right. to turn propellers and generate electricity, which could be beamed to the shores and put into the electrical grid without a single ton of emissions going into the atmosphere. What could stop such a common sense idea from happening? Why the federal government could stop it? By imposing six years of delays through fisheries and oceans Canada, without even proving that a single solitary fish or frog would lose its life, they managed to kill this common sense idea and prevent Nova Scotians from powering their electrical grid with the forces of the seas, Madam Speaker. Under my government, we will green light green technology, allow for our, uh, our brilliant engineers to invent the technology that will bring about cleaner, greener and more affordable electricity.